There's O'Hara. He's in lane two. Has a sharper curve to run than most of the athletes being on the inside lane. Don't know if that will suit him too much. Normally not a great turn runner, but a strong finisher. But learning how to run, and maybe he's learned curve running from Usain Bolt, who taller than him, but a master turn runner under Glenn Mills. Set. Off they go for the men's 200 meters. Strong start there for Jason Young. Donnell Hughes, Miguel Francis from Antigua and Barbuda burning up the track, coming off the turn with the advantage. Francis from Antigua and Barbuda, look at him go. Hughes trying to chase him. Miguel Francis from Antigua and Barbuda. Oh, Woo. he kills the field. 21 6, the flash time. Look at his face. 20.16 seconds for Miguel Francis. Spoke to him in Kingston a few weeks ago after 20.11. Said he was very comfortable here again. His flowing finish down the straightaway doesn't tie up, doesn't tense up, doesn't get tired. Uh, says he's going to run 1 and 200 this year. And uh, collapses on the track, though. Is that is he tired? Well, that's a worry. Zanel Hughes limping. limping a little bit. He world champs finalist. And so, too, Miguel Francis. So, injury concerns after a fine run by Miguel Francis. Is it just cramp? Hopefully, that's all it is. Yes, for his comfort I certainly hope it would be cramps because he came off the he came across the finishing line looking comfortable his strides following the finish looked okay but then he appeared to have he got up very well did Miguel Francis and took control of the race right here very good curve by him once he gets into the straightaway first he's hard to pick back because doesn't get tired nice fluent stride and powerful racers trained sprinting in Jamaica by Glenn Mills and the team there, uh, that confirms his fine form shown a few weeks ago at 20.11. Keegan Prop, you'd have had some outstanding sprinters in the past decade. Brendan Christian, Daniel Bailey, Miguel Francis, add him to the list. We've got a fine 4 by 